Hello YouTube, it is Ad Viral over here. Microsoft has recently released Windows 11 with a lot of good features and it is ready for you to test it. In this video tutorial I will explain to you how you can download and install Windows 11 on your computer. Go to google.com, search Windows 11 Ad Viral and open adviral.com website. I want to inform you that you will download from this website and after that you will need to put the Windows 11 into a disk or into a bootable USB device. So search on, click on search and type Windows 11, open the first one, upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 for free and scroll down until you find the download button over here. So to download Windows 11 ISO, click on the link below, click over here to download. I have downloaded already in order to save some time. Here I have it and I will you will need to use the software in order to burn it into a disk. So I will use the Burnaware free. Okay, here it is, Burnaware free. Click on the Okay, let me do that. Click on burn ISO. So this will be the 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 thing that you will need to do. Disk image path, you will need to choose the one that we, you will download from the Elviral website and then hit burn which is on the top left of the software after that insert the disk with a windows 11 on it and you need to power off the computer and go to bootable boot menu different computers have different ways to go to boot menu and you will get this screen you should, you should press any key in order to boot from the disk okay so just like i was explaining to you different uh, computers have different boot menus uh, options. So you will need to search that on Google in order to find how you can go to the boot menu on your computer. Okay, let me go through the steps to install the Windows. Now the setup is starting. Okay, we will not, we, we don't have a product key. If you want a product key, you will email me. I will leave my email at the link in the description of the video. Over here we want to select the operation system. I will choose a Windows 11 Pro. Okay, we will agree to the terms. We always agree. Hit next. We have two options over here, upgrade and custom. Upgrade if it is if you already have a Windows on your drive and custom it is if you don't have one. So my R drive is fresh, so I will choose custom and hit next. And now we will wait until the, the Windows copies the files from the disk to the hard drive. I am speeding the video, so you will not have to wait, but on your computer this will be a longer time. Again, if you need information about creating a bootable disk or a bootable USB device, you will need to search it online. And if you need information to access the boot menu on different computers, it has different strategies. So you will need to search that on Google and you will be able to find it in a few easy steps. Okay, so the Windows is already installing on my hard drive, installing updates, and after that finishing up. Okay, so the Windows will automatically restart now, so you will need to hit restart now or wait a few seconds. Okay, the Windows logo will show up. And you will get again the press any key to boot from CD or DVD. So you will not press anything this time because you will get you will repeat the first process if you do. So just wait and it will go to the other steps. 
by itself. Again, you will need to you don't need to press anything. Just wait and it will boot automatically. Okay, so I have sped up the process, the video in order to uh, to show to show it in a shorter time. So you will need to wait much longer than me. Just a moment. After the installation is completed, you will get this nice animation of Windows 11 and it will go to the setup process. Here you can select the language, I'm going to select country or region, I will select the, I'll select the United States and hit yes. Something went wrong, we can skip this, it will get updated later. Checking for updates, this may take a bit. Okay, so you have two options for personal use and work or school. I'm going to set up for personal use. You will need to sign in with your Microsoft account. I already did that right now. Enter the computer name. Let me type Alviral over here. Hit next. You will need to enter the password. Let me do just one. one. Set up the security questions. Okay. Okay, privacy settings, let's, let's choose yes for all of these and hit next, next, accept, checking for updates, just a moment. Okay, so we are almost there. Let's wait for a few seconds, getting things ready for me. I will speed up the video so you will not uh, have to see to wait long in order to see the process but if you do it on yourself you will need to wait a little bit longer almost there and this is a screen that you will get once the windows 11 starts so it is a pretty good design uh, the the start bar it is on the bottom and you will you will be able to to see a much better performance on this com windows 11 of course it is a beta version and it is upgrading every day, but this is a good start and you will be able to get updates regularly from Windows itself. And here it is. Okay, get it. guys, thanks for watching. Bye.